Hey YouTube, this is my Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive uh, that we are setting up for a dirt track. Um, we do um, outdoor oval and um, we do some like short course, more technical indoor. Um, and we took the Slash out and uh, I realized how badly set up I had it, it overheated. Uh, we had it set up for like speed runs and all sorts of stuff like that. So I just got done rebuilding this whole truck. Um, these tires are kind of just placeholders. These are like street and dirt tires. Um, when I'm actually dirt racing, we run the Proline calibers. Uh, when I'm not using them, I clean them up, put them back in the bag and seal them up. Um, and then usually when I'm racing, I run my Raptor body. This is kind of like testing. Um, these are actually um, street tires. Uh, we actually took it out today and ran it on the pavement to GPS how fast it's going with the gearing. Um, it's running 1986 and fastest we got it going was just shy of 48 miles an hour. It was like 47.8 miles per hour. Um, much more stable. Um, so this is the body that it came with. Um, just cut some holes here to allow some air because uh, with the old chassis it sat much higher up and it would parachute out like crazy. So we kind of did some modifications here to help with that and it was very successful. Um, then underneath, um, let's see, we have a stock bulkhead for now. I have an aluminum one um, in my toolbox for when it breaks. I have no desire to really swap it unless I need to. Um, but the amount of like nose dives we did, I worry that it snaps right here uh, like it did my Rustler. Um, this bolt I have, uh, I did today just for, we're doing speed runs so it doesn't wheelie up. Um, I have an RPM bumper and uh, control arms front and rear. Um, these are the Traxxas GTR shocks. Um, they're just running right now 30 weight. Uh, I believe I have 35 in the front and 30 in the back. Uh, just did the STRC aluminum um, chalk towers to stiffen up the suspension a bit. Um, the bearing carriers and stuff up here in the front are all RPM. Um, just did the LCG chassis. Um, this is, I don't know what that servo is. I don't know if it's stock or what, but um, I do have a Savox Metal, Metal Gear one um, for when this one breaks. Uh, just in case I'm out of the track or something and breaks, I have one in my toolbox. I also have the aluminum bell crank. Um, just running it for now until it breaks. Um, I'm running the stock Millennium setup, motor and ESC. Uh, this is a 3S LiPo. I don't race on 3S, I race on 2S. Uh, this is just for our speed testing. Um, the receiver here, stock, um, GTRs in the back. These are black springs, uh, fronts are reds. Um, let's see, I have the Traxxas steel drive shafts. Um, I have the Proline body mounts here I needed to fit the Raptor body on. Um, like I said, these are here just the street tires. I'm running a RPM. This is like, or I'm sorry, this is actually a Traxxas piece for the wheelie bar to protect my transmission. It's a brand new RM Proline transmission. It's supposed to be like a ball differential. It's really, really nice. Um, I actually bought it for my drag car and realized that the spur gears were proprietary. So I opted to do the entity transmission so I had more options with gearing and just rebuilt the whole transmission from scratch. Um, I plan on doing a 2200 in that car so it kind of helps with that. Um, this is running 19 tooth on the uh, uh, pinion and then 86. I also have an 82. Um, I do also have a 78, um, but that was more for speed. Um, I ran it tonight for my speed testing on the 1986, and it did, like I said, just shy of 48 miles an hour. Um, from the first time that I took it out with the regular chassis, regular transmission, um, and I believe there were four of these tires, um, which are horrible. Um, this new setup is literally like 10 times faster. Um, the old setup, it would just spin out of control on the loose dirt. Um, on the new setup, I could hook really, really good. The Proline calipers are working 
awesome. Um, the new shocks are working awesome. Um, this truck has been like really, really good, really reliable. Uh, the only time it's really broken was one of the back uh, axle carriers. I was rear-ended by one of my buddies with a Revo. So that explains that. Um, so I run that body usually like when we're testing and stuff like that. When I do race, we run this body. Um, I actually wanted it to be like a bright green. Um, and when I painted underneath, I did black and that made it more like a forest green. Um, looks a lot better in, in direct sunlight. Um, I just recently up here kind of had to trim uh, to fit the new tires. So this did come down and across, um, but recently I trimmed it uh, kind of at the track, short notice. Um, so like I said, pretty soon um, when things start to break, this will have the aluminum bulkhead. Um, the Savox servo, I actually have the Savox sticker on here, right there, uh, for when I do need to replace that. Um, but other than that, uh, let's see, the truck is pretty much brand new, I just replaced a bunch of parts in here. Uh, the bumper was old, um, this comes out when I race, like I said, this was just uh, for the speed runs we did today. Uh, overall, I'm really happy with how the car performed. Um, we're gonna go sometime this week and test on the indoor more technical course and see how it does, but on the dirt oval, it was um, literally probably 10 times better than when I was not prepared for it. When I had these, I had the stock shocks. You know, these right here are really flexible from the factory they're plastic. Um, these really help stiffen things up. Uh, the next thing I want to do is want to kind of play with the gearing more and my uh, shock oil. I'm trying to figure out what some of the local people out here run. Um, but other than that, this is probably one of my favorite cars to drive. This is my slash two-wheel drive.